Okay, you ready? Hi. Hi. You ready? Are you excited? Yeah. Season 18, episode 2. Do you have any, like, I don't know, per pearls for the people? No, I have no pearls. I just hope we're going to learn more about Janelle in this episode. All right, let's, let's get into it. But when he sits there and he tells me to my face that I am pitting his children against him, no, no, that is not true. I am their sounding board. I mean, I bet that's true, and I think she probably has said some things. Yeah, like, during so the whole COVID thing, I think she probably, like, <clears throat> worlded it up a little bit. Because she had no one else, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, mm -hmm. if she's doing what she's saying she's doing, I admire her. Sure, you can be a sounding board, and it's nice your kids can vent. But if they're coming to you to vent, it's probably because you're validating them at some level. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't, I'm not sure I totally buy the, oh, I'm just a sounding board. I don't want you to pretend there's no point in that. I think it gives you satisfaction if I did hate you. I don't understand this conversation. I feel like she is like getting what she wants out of it. So you still hate me. Oh, I think she's, I think she is loving it. <laughs> it's so she natural for you to hate me. Yeah. Okay, so. I don't hate you because I'm above it. Yes, that's right. Yeah, she's in a very controlled <laughs> position. Oh, you seem flustered. I'm happy. I don't blame her, but I do think it's entertaining. Right, because the mm -hmm. whole relationship, he was mm -hmm. able to be in a position where he was like, why are you getting so upset? Yeah. Right, and now the roles mm -hmm. have reversed. I thought about doing breakup counseling with you, like, hey, we're done, because I don't want to sit here and- Post breakup counseling? Listen, I got to get in a place where I don't hate you, oh. so I never speak bad about you to my children. Well, I think counseling is probably good because he's got a lot of anger. I'm not sure that they needed to do it together, but like he definitely needs to work through it himself. Yeah, I think the idea, it's funny, like <laughs> I've never done post, you know, like divorce counseling, but people do that. But it usually is you have both people coming forward saying, we want to do this in a way that that doesn't destroy you know, the way our kids see us or that see each other, or we don't want to have any splitting in the family. We want to try and co-parent. And it, it, like the idea of it, in theory, is wonderful. That's not what he's wanting. He's saying, I'm feeling distressed. I don't know what to do with my anger, so let's go to counseling. I don't, I don't believe that it's really about him worrying about how he's going to talk about Christine in front of the kids. I don't think he cares about Christine. I think it's him saying... I have a negative feeling, I don't like it, and I need counseling. Mm -hmm. And so come with me, Christine. But he, this is not a good, him going to couples counseling right now would look like him sitting in the corner screaming about how horrible Christine is, and then Christine trying to talk about, well, how do we move forward? He needs to go and get grief counseling. I agree. He needs to go and, and work through his pain, settle, and then if they want to do divorce counseling, in a year, maybe then it makes sense. I think she'd be laughing through it. She's not invested. <laughs> right, she just, yeah. Yeah, there's so much more energy for him, yeah. from him than there is from her. I would have done anything he needed me to do, but I'm done. Is it just me or is he eating a lot? I would. Every I, clip is him like shoving something in his mouth. I always feel like when they do these serious conversations, like how can you eat when you're this emotional, like in front of it? Like he is like clearly, this is a terrible lunch. Maybe he's, maybe, yeah, see, so he's coping. He's eating shoveling his, in his His fajitas. I don't see the deal breakers between Cody and Christine. Mm -hmm. That's obvious. I mean, like, you think she's like, I don't, I just don't see it. Like, he was at my house for two years during COVID. He didn't go to my daughter's surgery. Um, or his daughter. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, Christine's daughter's that surgery. is just so convenient, Robin, right? I just, I just don't see it. So do you think she gets it and is, do you think she's maneuvering or you think she just simply is, you know, has zero EQ and just can't read the room? I have no idea. I can't figure it out. I mean, that is like the, like literally the dumbest comment. Mm -hmm. I mean, just do you watch the show, Robin? Like, I wonder if she watches the show. I mean, if I were her, I would not want to watch the show. There was a piece where I kept thinking, I'm really, really enjoying myself here. Should I feel guilty that I'm enjoying myself here? What stops Cody, Robin, and kids from going there? 
Right, she wants to see her kids in their first house for their first Thanksgiving. Why doesn't Cody? It's also Cody's daughter. Mm-hmm. Why doesn't he go? They whole if right and grandkids. Right, so he could if he wanted to make an effort, he could, but he's too busy. Put on a stink. Right. Mm-hmm. I made the mistake of not managing my family properly, and Christine has left. And Janelle has decided, because we're not in the greatest place, that she'd rather hang out with Christine. But really, like, they are acting like family. Like, Christine went to go hang out with... Right, everybody but him is acting like it's a family. Right. He's the only one not acting like it's a family. Right. And it is amazing to me how he he interprets all of this drama as a consequence of his not managing the family well. Mm -hmm. If I had been more of a dictator... Then this wouldn't happen. If I, if I, if these women weren't so empowered, my big picture would still be happening. More than anything, I am grateful right now for where I'm at, and that I have love and devotion with a portion of my family. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm next to people that, that that love and are devoted to me. They look really. It looks like a really fun Thanksgiving. It looks so boring, isn't it? It looks so boring. I told him, like in the end, like I just want to be friends. I just want to be friends with you. I think we're better friends than anything else. And it's meant a lot to me to hear mom open up about this and not just talk about it, but talk with me about it, knowing that she trusts me. So, smash cut to the beginning of this when she was like, "I just am a sounding board. I don't ever speak negatively about right." So Peyton's sharing right now. I like the fact that we have a really transparent conversation. So trust, so love Christine, but I think Cody is probably right that she's not all flowers and rainbows when she's talking about Cody with the kids. So when this text thread was going on, I was just ignoring it. I wasn't going to pick sides one way or the other. I would I love want to, to read it. it. <laughs> yes. It's interesting because all the adults are saying it got blown out of hand, but I, the kids probably got to voice how they really feel. Right. The, I think that, that that's a, mm-hmm. I think that's a really good point that mm-hmm. they're saying it got out of hand and mm-hmm. you know the, how terrible it was, and it's probably like it didn't happen because someone slipped on a banana, right? People were upset. The door opened. The door opened, and, and Robin over inserted herself, and the kids were obviously had the anger chambered. I don't consider that that was a distant father. No, he was there. He was there. And I could always go find him. Yeah. I always knew where he was. Yeah. Who's at one of the yeah, houses? He wasn't around me, but uh, yeah. He, sh- he made no effort with me, but I knew where, where I he was. I want to say he was distant, but like, I, knew, I mean, when he was there, he was there, but like, I. <laughs> yeah. I did have to go find him. It's his responsibility to create a good relationship with his children, and it always has been. Agreed. 100%. Agreed. 100%. And it's, by the way, the same thing with Robin. Robin obviously over-inserted herself on that text message, and the kids didn't like it, and she heard some really critical feedback. Her job now is not to go curl up in a ball and cry and wait for Cody to protect her. Her job now should be to reach out to the kids and talk through what happened. Like She has to be actively involved in this versus just being like, oh, how horrible every, everyone is. Yeah. Right? They're upset with her because they believe that she participated in the in the destruction of the family she should talk it through with them yeah i don't think robin's ever lived plural marriage honestly because as soon as kate Co- as soon as she came into the family even before they got married i just don't even want to go down the road it just doesn't help with anything she's I, still struggling i mean i like that she like I, she was robin's been in the family for 12 years mm-hmm. so how can she say that robin didn't live plural marriage because Cody, he she hasn't slept with Cody in twelve years. Janelle hasn't slept with Cody oh. in fifteen years. Mary hasn't slept with Cody in twenty years. I mean, I don't, I'm exaggerating, but that he, yeah. he he has favored her so much that it hasn't been really. She hasn't had to share. Yeah, and she hasn't. I don't think made much of an effort to integrate with the other families. Yeah. It's just why are you not integrate? Why are you not? Why are you not all coming over here the way Cody does? Mm-hmm. And so now I'm going with Aurora, and we're going to go get, get her ears pierced. It is kind of a sad thing that, like, he has no recollection of his other daughters, but Robin's daughters, he is, like, making an effort for. I think that's a bummer for the yeah. other kids. He can't... Who was the one that had the back surgery that he couldn't make it to because of COVID? Yeah, one of Christine's kids. I can't remember her name, but... Uh, <clears throat> do you know that I, when I was in high school, I pierced my ears? By my yourself? friends and I, yeah. Just 
just just, just jammed it in. I'm really glad. What if your ear fell off? Cause did both ears. We did, did both ears like M&M. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it was very cool. With a bleach blonde hair. <laughs> you would have been super into it. They, there was this, at Orange Theory, the instruct coach was like, has anyone dated someone with bleach tips? And I was like, I married that oh, guy. Oh, yeah. I was big, I like, was big into pierced the ears, tips. And I was like, with pierced ears. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah angrier and angrier and he's getting sharper and sharper and more black and white with me christine could not be happier <laughs> well the one thing i want to tell cody is like you've wasted so much time yeah. like these kids grow up and they like you're just every day that you sit in your anger and hope that someone's gonna respect you and you know now we can't we did COVID for two years, and now we now we can't come together because you know you ha aren't respecting me. I mean, you're just like, you don't get that time back. And her and Cody, I didn't think they were that bad. Gosh, things are pretty rough right now. She's just like the problem is she has a smile. Yeah. Gosh, I'm things so are sorry. things are pretty rough things are right. Things are really now. rough right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so angry. I made the right decision time on Sister Wives. You have cheated me out of my contact with my family. Cody, in the very beginning, no, no, I kept... No, you make this excuse forever, but I've... Shut no, your no. mouth and let me talk to you for a minute. No. I want to see that I one. See, yeah, I'd like to see episode three. Yeah. Oh, wow. Cody didn't look good in that one. Cody's not looked good in a long time. <laughs> let us know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> like, subscribe. Anything else for the people? Thanks for joining.